Hola amigos, are you having difficulty trilling your R's? You know, rápido, rosa, carro, perro. I had the same problem when I was learning Spanish. I couldn't make that sound at first. For the first three years, in fact, speaking Spanish. And it was driving me crazy because it's an important sound. You know, pero means but, but perro means dog. Caro means expensive and carro means car. So it actually changes the meaning of the word. It's really important. And I couldn't get any good advice. Everyone, my native speaker friends would just tell me, hey, do it like this, carro. You know, and because you can't see what's going on in the mouth, you, you couldn't change it. Well, I have good news. I think I'm the person that can help you to do it because I finally learned how to do it. And I remember what I went through. It was really frustrating. But, you know, with any sound in any language, you just have to set your mind to it. And remember, millions of people speak that language. And it's not magic. It's just a matter of practice. And they never gave up. And sometimes they have a lot of uh, Spanish speaking kids, native speaker kids, when they're growing up, they have difficulty making that sound. But eventually they work it out. They figure out how to do it. So you can do that too. It is not some type of magic. But I'm going to try to get you there. So I made like a a commitment with myself to try every day for five minutes for one month. I was determined to make this sound. And uh, by the third day, I was able to start to make the sound a little bit. And for me, it was like hitting the jackpot. I was so happy that I could finally say carro a little bit, you know. And um, But then it, it took more and more practice to get it to be able to make the sound easily. So, But hopefully I can help you to get there more quickly. I didn't really even know where to start, so I started listening to the radio and TV and hearing native speakers and trying to hear, because I think I have a good ear for language, but I, I wasn't able to make that sound yet. I could hear what they were doing, but I didn't know what to do with my tongue. So I thought I had to do it on purpose, move my tongue. I knew the tongue was moving up and down really fast in the mouth to make that sound, right? Carro. You can hear when they when the uh, radio announcers, when they exaggerate this usted va a ganar and they'll they'll do it really long and you hear it the tongue is going up and down but you say, but how they, can they be thinking they want their tongue to move up and down obviously no it has to be something almost involuntary and it is and that's when i finally started to realize well it must have to do with the flow of air and i'm just not controlling the flow of air properly and so i want to show you something think of you know here's a little piece of Kleenex, and when I blow on it, you see how it moves? Watch if I slow down and if I don't blow hard enough. Or if I blow too hard, well, then it goes. But it, it has to do with that. You have to try to say the word carro or hablar. Um, what's another good one? Yeah, carro is a good one to start with. And you have to find the speed of the flow of air. That's what you have to control. Just try to get your mouth, you know, carro, carro, the best you can. I know now you're probably saying carro, 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 and you're trying to move your tongue. Play around with the flow of air. Speed it up, slow it down. Eventually, you're going to hit that frequency that's going to make your tongue do that on its own. You can even do it without even making a sound. You can just just blow out and see if you can get your tongue to move a little bit and then put the two things together. I know if you keep working on that, you'll finally get it. Just do what I did. Try to do it every day. Listen to native speakers, but it has to do with the flow of air. See, if I slow it down too much, if I say carro, 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 and I, or if I blow too hard, carro, it, it messes up the sound too. You have to find that just that right speed. I hope this helps you. And soon you'll be able to say, carro de carro de cigarro, carro de ferrocarril, rápido corren los carros cargados con cigarros al ferrocarril. Now I know you native speakers are going to tell me I messed it up because I know that I messed up the first two words in there. It's a, like a, a Spanish uh R sound tongue twister in Spanish. Uh, okay, have a great day.